Hey guys, and welcome to my favorites video. Um, I wasn't really going to film this originally because I just woke up this morning and was like, I really don't feel like filming. But then I, an hour later, was like, I really want to film this. So I'm going to go over this a little bit quickly because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I just, I've had a really good month for things finally coming in the mail and using them for the month. And so I have a lot of things that are my favorite. And the first one I am going to talk about, I have them all kind of sitting here behind me, so kind of a sneak peek there. But the first one I want to talk about are these Kiss Nails. I have probably used every one of the different kinds that they have here. They show them on the side of the box, and I've used almost all of them now. Um, I'm wearing some of them right now, these kind of uh, white ones. And then these kind of almond-shaped purple ones are going to be my next ones, which I'm really excited about. And I just, I really love these ones. I like that they look and feel and last like gel nails do. They last at least a, you know, a couple of weeks for me. Um, every once in a while one will pop off and I just glue it back on and, you know, it's good to go. And my nails underneath aren't damaged, which is really nice. And so I just, I really like these a lot. I think my favorite ones though were the white ones that they have here that are kind of the almond shaped. So I'll see if I like the purple ones as much, but I really love that almond shape. So I've been using those pretty much nonstop for the last, like, I don't know, month or so. Um, Next one I actually dug out of my collection because I forgot that I had this for some reason and then I started using it and I really like it. And so this is the um, Vince Camuto um, perfume sample that I got in my glossy box and I just, I forgot how good this smells. It kind of has a very fresh clean scent to it and it's it's a little bit sweet but not, you know, overpowering and it has a very very slight floral scent to it um, but it just, it smells really good and fresh and clean to me. And then the next one that I really like that I haven't been using as religiously because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to putting on body creams, but I picked up this Jergens BB Body Stuff and this stuff smells so good. I feel like it doesn't really do a ton to make my skin feel like, I don't know, super amazing, but I really like the way it smells and it blends into the skin really well and I just, I really like it. So... And then I have a whole plethora of stuff back here, so I'm going to go over these kind of quickly. Um, I got a new brow combo because my brows were too dark because my hair is pretty light now, and as you can see, it's getting lighter and lighter. Um, so I picked up this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper um, Brow Gel Mascara. This is in the shade Late to Medium. Um, it just looks like that, and then the brush on it, it's kind of a smaller brush. It's almost like the Benefit Gimme Brow, except it's a little bit bigger. And then I got the matching pencil to go with it. This is the Brow Stylist Designer Pencil in Brunette, um, which is a little slightly bit taupey, but this brow gel on top of it makes it not bad. And so this is a really great combo for me right now. I just kind of fill them in a little bit, set it with the brow gel, and it's good to go. Um, it does take a little bit longer for me to do my brows than normal, but they look way better. And so I do really like this combo. Um, I don't know if it's a dupe yet for the Anastasia ones. That's why I bought these is because I can't quite afford the Anastasia ones. And so if I can get a hold of those, I will do a comparison video between the two. So we'll see. And then the eyeshadow that I have been using pretty much every day um, for the last little while here is this eye uh, Ulta eyeshadow here in Sable. And I have been using this just with a round kind of fluffy brush and I have been just using it in the crease here and then, I don't know, I'll do a look on kind of how I've been using it. But this stuff is a really nice eyeshadow and I bought this at Ulta because they were out of the one that I really wanted, which I just got in the mail today, which is this one in Camel. And a lot of people said that they are very similar, but um, even though it doesn't really show up the way it's supposed to on camera, Camel is actually a lot warmer looking, at least to me, and, I don't know, just kind of more of a peanut buttery shade than um, than this one, which is Sable. And so they look a little bit different um, on camera. And so I'm going to actually play with them and do the same look that I've been doing with Sable, except with Camel, and see what the differences are. Um, but I really like Sable. It's, it's excellent. And it goes really well with the next couple of eye products that I'm going to show you, which are... Um, I finally invested in Steel a Kitten, and this is this is an amazing eyeshadow. I use this almost every single day, and I just I have no idea why I have never picked up this eyeshadow before. It's a very shimmery kind of pinky champagne color, and it's just it's perfect. And so what I'll do is I'll do Sable in the crease, and then Steel a just on the eyelid, and then I'll just do a highlight, and it's just it's amazing. And then <clears throat> recently. 
I have picked this up um, as a new eyeshadow base. And so on days where I'm just wearing one color eyeshadow, I will usually do um, my Lime Crime eyeshadow helper and I'll just do one eyeshadow and I'll just call it good, which is what I did today. But on days where I'm kind of blending and, you know, layering eyeshadows and doing, you know, a pretty, I don't know, a different sort of look, then I will use my Lorac primer, behind the scenes primer. And then lately I have been letting that dry and then I finally picked up the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, and this is perfect. It is kind of a almost like a pinky nude um, just eyeshadow base and I was really pleasantly surprised that this is a lot tackier than I thought it was going to be and so it's perfect and so after I let my Lorac primer dry I'll put this on top kind of just as a base and it's just perfect it makes your eyeshadow look absolutely flawless it's just it's an excellent base and so I highly recommend this to everyone you just MAC paint pots I know everybody has loved these for years and I'm super late on the bandwagon getting them but I'm so glad I invested in it because it's just it's fantastic and then um, the last few things that I have here um, is this Clarins um, instant light natural lip perfector that I got and this is the shimmering rose shade I believe um, doesn't say on there Hmm, that's weird. It doesn't say what the shade is, but I'm pretty sure this is the Shimmering Rose one, and this is just, it's beautiful. I absolutely love this. I carry this in my purse all the time now, and it's just, it's great for when you're, when you want some sort of, it's almost like a, I'm trying to describe this, but it's almost like a lip balm type of feeling in that it feels really moisturizing and really awesome on your lips, but it has a little bit of color too, and it's not sticky. Like, you couldn't make this be sticky if you wanted to, and so it's just, it's fantastic. And then I dug this out of my collection, and it's almost out now because I've been using it so much, but I dug this out of the back of my collection, and this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, Concealer, and this is the Radiant one, I believe. Um, yeah, this is in Radiant, and this is just... Um, so if you have medium to dark skin, this probably won't work for you, but if you have light to maybe the darker side of light skin, this is very, very light. Um, this almost looks white on my skin, but I put it under my eyes and blend it in and it just really brightens up your face. And so you could definitely use this as a highlighter. This is an amazing product. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this next one because um, I have kind of almost beat a dead horse here with this um, product, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's just, I'm going to obsess about it for months. And so you guys are going to see me using this probably all the time. It's the only thing that I've been reaching for now because it just, there's nothing that makes my lashes look better than this. So I just will move on from that. And then I picked this up just a few days ago, but I am so in love with it that I wanted to include it in this favorites video because it's probably going to be in next month's. And this is the, um, Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Cotton Candy. And it's just this beautiful kind of natural pink looking color. Um, it looks like it's a little bit bright, but actually it goes on, you know, fairly natural and sheer looking, which I wanted two different. Um, I'll probably show it in some other video, but I picked up um, another Revlon lip gloss that's like a really bright pink. And then I wanted something that was more of a natural pink because I can start wearing pinks now because my hair is lighter. So at least I feel like I can. So and then the. Last couple of products. This one is obviously a favorite because I have used it all up and repurchased it, and it's this Garnier Clean Cleansing Oil. Um, I repurchased this because I couldn't quite afford to get the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, which I would like to get at some point just to kind of see how it compares. Um, but this has been really good for just taking off my eye makeup, and then I'll take a makeup wipe and, you know, wash the rest of my face. And then another one that I haven't used all month long but the two or three times that I have used it I have just obsessed over my eye makeup that day and that's this um, diamond dust moon dog uh, eyeshadow from Urban Decay and it's just it's absolutely stunning it's just I really want to pick up a couple more of these shades because they are so beautiful and so I just really really love that so um, yeah so that's pretty much it for my favorites for this month um, I think my next video I'm going to do kind of a what's in my everyday makeup drawer kind of thing because there's stuff in there that I've literally be lit literally literally been using every single day for just like a week or two straight I'll just do the same look and I just I really like it so um, yeah so that's it for now so I will see you guys in my next video bye